Sup, all JC3 here, the baller of YouTube the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on why Kawhi wants out of San Antonio and the most realistic landing places for him if he were to be traded this offseason. The NBA offseason is officially underway, which means that free agency is ramping up again, and I see this as the first major domino that could fall and give us some possible insight into LeBron's major decision. As always, make sure to check out my past couple of videos and leave a thumbs up on this one and your feedback in the comments down below for more Topic Tackle coming soon. And let's get started. It was Friday the 15th, just two days after the 13th, which Kawhi dropped a scary bomb on the Spurs. Via ESPN's Chris Haynes, Leonard has reached a breaking point with the Spurs organization in large part due to the way in which the team handled his injured quad. This whole thing is really complicated and there's a lot that happened behind the scenes that hasn't been reported yet, so allow me to sum up what I can to you. Leonard's last time playing at a dominant level was Game 1 of the 2017 Western Conference Finals against the Warriors until he landed on Zaza's foot and injured his ankle, putting him out the rest of the playoffs. Expected to return strong for this past season, it was reported that Leonard would miss the preseason dealing with an injured thigh. And ESPN's Brian Windhorst reported that Leonard was suffering with quad injuries since the spring of 2016. He's had quad injuries dating back to spring of 2016. That is worrisome. He didn't play until December and was in and out of games, playing in just nine total this season. Then in January, it was reported that Leonard had a partial tear in his left shoulder. So it was reported that Leonard's personal medical staff and the Spurs medical staff agreed to a rehab program for him, which is the one he is currently on. I mean, we guess, right? This story is so strange because we can only speculate what is really going on behind the scenes between Kawhi and the Spurs. My personal hunch is that Leonard's camp is putting ideas into his head about his upcoming marketability, fame, and popularity that he couldn't have a chance to experience if he were to stay with the Spurs. Think about it. Why else would Leonard be okay with leaving 31 plus million dollars on the table contract wise? We know that his name probably won't get any bigger in San Antonio, but in LA, it absolutely would, depending on if he opens up a little more. So here's another side to the story that doesn't get wide coverage. According to an article on clutchpoints.com that was posted on June 13th, Leonard's former agent recently filed a complaint in Florida federal court on Monday, June 11th, suing the former agency for which he worked under for allegedly withholding payments on earned commissions he claims he's owed, including a commission on a massive $94.3 million contract. Leonard's former agent, Brian Elphis, is suing Impact Sports Basketball LLC, along with owner Mitchell Frankel, Leonard's uncle. Leonard hired Elphis heading into the 2011 draft and was later represented by Frankel, his uncle, in 2016. Is Frankel attempting to take Kawhi in a whole different direction on and off the court? Is he the one who is in his ear about becoming more famous? I don't know, but these events and the times they're happening are lining up. As far as where Kawhi could end up, I doubt it will be the Lakers. As we saw last year with Cleveland and Kyrie Irving, it became clear that they made a mistake. They did not have to trade him so soon because he was under contract. If the Spurs do trade Kawhi with the smart front office they have, they'll for sure look to get the best deal for them, not necessarily Kawhi. So what can teams offer? I'm sure some teams will make compelling offers, but Cleveland and Boston right now look like the best. For Cleveland, could they trade LeBron for Kawhi straight up? I don't think LeBron will waive his no trade cause, and he'll most likely opt out to become a free agent, but he has expressed interest in going to San Antonio. Boston can offer the best pieces in my opinion. On Friday, Woj reported that Danny Ainge asked the Spurs about the possibility of trading for Kawhi in February, and I wouldn't be surprised if he came up with a package of Kyrie Irving and a high draft pick for Leonard. If Leonard goes to the Celtics, how does that impact LeBron's decision? He's definitely going to wait and see how the dominoes fall, and if Kawhi ends up in Boston, LeBron may head west. We'll see how this all plays out as time goes on. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think the Spurs will trade Kawhi this offseason and if so where remember to subscribe like leave your feedback in the comments down below we'll be back with more topic tackle soon jc3 out